everyone and welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. This is going to be my NFL prediction series. This will be episode 3 and in episode 3 we're going to do the NFC South. And kicking off the NFC South we're going to start with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're doing these schedules according to how the logos are on the NFL.com. So don't think that I'm taking them out of alphabetical order for any type of reason. I'm just pulling them up as I pull the schedules up. So, in week number one, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady travel to New Orleans to play the Saints. I don't foresee very many losses for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. However, the Saints have been together a little bit longer. This is the opening game in the Superdome. I say that the Saints eke out this game slightly in hand the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. One of their few losses this season, and the Saints win this game in week number one against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In week number two, what a place to rebound. You play at home in your season opener against the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers are a bad team. I've kind of ripped on them in a couple of the other videos. I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be better. Even if they're not on the same page, they're still better than the Carolina Panthers. Tampa Bay wins this game in week number two. Week number three, they travel to the Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado. I don't know who Denver's quarterback is. I know it's Drew Locke. We don't know who he is. They're probably going to be in the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes as well. It's almost time for a new quarterback regime in Denver. We really haven't been relevant since Peyton Manning's been there. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers win this game in week number three. Week number four, you're home again. You play the Los Angeles Chargers. This is another team that I think is going to be bad, so you're getting a few soft spots in consecutive weeks. Another win for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and now you guys are 3-1. and one. Week number five, you play at Soldier Field. The Bears have a great defense. If their defense can do enough to save them, which I don't think they will, the Bears could win this game by putting pressure on Tom Brady, but now Tom Brady has too many weapons there, and yes, the Bears are home, but Tampa Bay wins this game easily. Week number six, they play at Raymond J Stadium. They play the Green Bay Packers. Now, if they were playing in Green Bay and they weren't playing in Tampa Bay, I would probably pick the Green Bay Packers in this game. However, because Tampa Bay is home, I'm giving Tampa Bay the slight edge against the Green Bay Packers in this game. In week number seven, they travel to Las Vegas to play the Las Vegas Raiders. Just a little fun fact about this, the Las Vegas Raiders tickets are so ridiculously priced this season that it's cheaper to fly from Vegas to any other state and watch the game in another team's home stadium than to sit here and try to buy tickets to watch this game. Even saying so, it's not very much of a competition. Tom Brady wins this game easily in week number seven. Week number eight, they play at the New York Giants, which is my team. They destroy the Giants. Week number nine, now they play at home against the New Orleans Saints. Now they start to pick up their rhythm. I think that the Saints and Tampa Bay both split these games this year. And now the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the New Orleans Saints. In week number 10, they travel to Carolina to play the Panthers. Yet again, very, very bad team. I'm sorry, Teddy Bridgewater, you should have stayed in New Orleans as the backup, but you got a lot of money to go to Carolina. Good on you. But the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are too good, and you win this game. Week number 11, you play the Los Angeles Rams, and you play at home again. Now, this is another one. The Rams are just bad. They sold off all their talent. I think week number 11 is a definite win for you guys. Now week number 12 is where it gets interesting because you guys are home and you play the Kansas City Chiefs. Now originally I had you guys winning this game because you were home. But when I started looking at all of the schedules and trying to go back and make sure that I made sure that every team's record kind of matched up, I had to come back and change this game. And the only reason why I gave the Buccaneers the win in this game was because they were home. But I decided to have a change of faith and give the Kansas City Chiefs the win in this game. Week number 13, you have a bye. It's a very late bye. Good for you guys. You'll probably have some time to relax. And then you get to rebound at home against the Minnesota Vikings. That's another win. And now you're going to start the winning train all over again. Because as I've said before, in weeks 15, 16, and 17, you play the Falcons twice and the Detroit Lions. Now, in theory, you should go 3-0 in these games, but I have you going 2-1. For whatever the reason is, I think that the Falcons are going to win at home because bad teams have a reason only to themselves of winning games that they should lose. So I said that the Falcons win in week number 15 at home, 
But don't worry, you'll get your revenge soon. Week number 16, you play the Detroit Lions in Ford Field. That's another easy win for Tampa Bay. And then in week number 17, you play the Falcons again at home, and you absolutely dominate them for dropping the ball in the last game when you should have beaten them and you didn't. Going, drum roll please. 13 and three, but that's probably not gonna be good enough to win this division because I think that the Saints are a little bit of a better team and they're a little bit more collected, but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady go 13 and three. Moving on along to the New Orleans Saints. Give me a second to pull up the schedule. All right, so in week number one, the New Orleans Saints play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In the last little tidbit of this video, I said that I believe that the Saints are gonna win their home opener against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In week number two, they travel out here to Las Vegas to play the Las Vegas Raiders. As I said before, it's almost unbelievable to me that it's cheaper to pretty much pick your ticket and fly anywhere else than to sit in the new Allegiant Stadium and try to watch a Raiders game. But that has nothing to do with the schedule. The Raiders lose this game in their home opener to the Saints. The Saints go 2-0. Week number three, they're at home again. They play the Green Bay Packers. That's another win. The Saints really don't lose at home. Week number four, they play the Detroit Lions in Ford Field. I know that they're a road team, and they're generally bad on the road, but this is a dome team. You're a dome team. Weather won't be much of an issue. You guys win this game and probably blow out the Detroit Lions. Week number five, you play at home and you play the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers are a bad team, so in back-to-back -back weeks you get really bad teams and you get two very easy wins. You beat the Chargers in week number five. Week number six, you get a bye. Week number seven, another bad team, you get the Carolina Panthers. And you get to kick their asses in week number seven at home. Week number eight, you get the Chicago Bears in Soldier Field. Now, as I said with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Bears' defense could do enough to win this game that they probably should lose and are going to lose in my prediction, but it's Mitch Trubisky versus Drew Brees. If it was probably any other quarterback in the league with the exception of Ryan Tannehill, I would give you guys the loss in this game, but the New Orleans Saints win this game in Soldier Field in Chicago. Week number nine, you play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and you play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. I said that I thought you guys were going to split. You guys lose this game in week number nine to Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But now you start to get a little bit of a difficult part in your schedule in weeks nine and ten. And in week ten, you play the San Francisco 49ers at home. Now, we know what happened last year when you guys played them. It was a very high scoring game and you lost slightly. I think that you guys get your revenge on the San Francisco 49ers and hand them one of their few losses this season and you guys beat the San Francisco 49ers in New Orleans. Week number 11, you play the Atlanta Falcons at home and you crush the Atlanta Falcons. Week number 12, you play the Denver Broncos. Yes, you go to Mile High Stadium. That stadium does tend to have an effect on some players. I don't think it's gonna make a difference and the Saints win this game. Week 13, you travel to Atlanta to play your division rivals in the Falcons. I think you beat them and sweep the season series. Week number 14, you travel out to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Will Carson Wentz play, won't he play? Either way, I think you guys are the better team and the Saints win this game. Week number 15, you play the Kansas City Chiefs and you play the Kansas City Chiefs at home and the only reason why I'm giving you guys the edge in this game is because your defense is slightly better than the Kansas City Chiefs and if there's one team that can possibly outscore them, it's going to be you guys. So I have the Saints beating the Kansas City Chiefs at home in week number 15. Week number 16, you play the Minnesota Vikings at home again. Yes, the Vikings defense is good, but I think your offense is better. And it's Kirk Cousins versus your defense and Drew Brees versus theirs. The Saints win this game. Week number 17, you play at the Carolina Panthers and you finish your season with another win. So for all of those who are keeping track, the only team that I have the New Orleans Saints losing to is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yes, there are a lot of losable games in here, but the Saints are going to be on a mission this year to make up for the past two seasons when they've fallen apart in the playoffs and their regular season Warriors. I say that the Saints go 15-1. and one. We're going to move along to another team in this division and we're going to do the Carolina Panthers. Now, I have ripped on them in multiple videos. I think that they're going to be a bad team. So in week number one, 
you guys open up your home in Bank of America Stadium and you play the Las Vegas Raiders. And I think you actually win that game. I think that the Raiders are another bad team, so it's a battle of the bad teams. And you guys start off the season with a little hope and win in week one. Week number two, you play at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We already know that I predicted you guys to lose this game and get swept by the Buccaneers. So you lose to Tampa Bay. Week number three, you play at the Los Angeles Chargers. I think the Chargers are just a little bit of a more rounded team. I could be wrong. This could be one of those games where you guys win. It's a battle of bad teams, but I have you guys losing this game. Week number four, you play at home, but you play the Arizona Cardinals. We'll kind of see what kind of team Arizona has this year. I think they're going to be better than they were last year. Arizona wins this game, so you lose again. Week number five, you play at the Atlanta Falcons. I think that the Falcons win this game, and the Falcons win this game because they're home and you guys are the division rivals, and it's a battle of bad teams. Week number six, you play the Chicago Bears. And I think this is one of those few games where the Bears win. I'm going to say that you guys lose solely on the fact that the Bears' defense is better than your offense. So you guys lose that game in week number six at home to the Chicago Bears. Week number seven, you play at the New Orleans Saints. And in the last video, I projected that the Saints are only going to lose one game. So you know that you guys are going to lose both of these games to the Saints, especially in New Orleans. I have the Saints winning this game. Week number eight, you play the Atlanta Falcons again. And this one, I have you guys winning because you guys are home. As I said, I thought you guys were going to split. So they take their home game, you take your home game. That's your second win of the season. Week number nine, you play the defending Super Bowl champions. I feel sorry for you guys. The Chiefs are going to be on a mission to make sure that they play and win as many games as possible because that first round by and making sure that everyone is healthy is going to be very important for them. So they trounce you guys in week number nine in Kansas City. Week number 10, you don't get much of an easier opponent when you play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Although you're home, Tom Brady's too good. Their offense is too good, and I think that their offense is better than your defense, especially without Luke Kuechly. In week number 11, you play the Detroit Lions. Now, here's another win for you guys. I think the Lions are a very bad team, so this will give you your third win of the season. You win against the Detroit Lions at home. Week number 12, you play the Minnesota Vikings, and you play them in Minnesota. That's a very difficult place to play. I understand that it's a dome game and the elements aren't going to have very much of a factor, but the Vikings defense is much better than your offense, so the Vikings win that game. In week number 13, you guys have a bye, so you kind of get to recoup a little bit, and then you come back and play the Denver Broncos. Another one of these teams who I think are going to be really bad, and because you guys are home and coming off of a bye, I say that you guys win this game, giving you your fourth win of the season. Then you play the Green Bay Packers. In Lambeau Field, I don't think you stand very much of a chance. I think it's not even worth you guys making the trip to Wisconsin. And the Packers win this game. Week number 16, though, you get a rebound. You get to travel to Washington, which isn't too far from you guys. Probably about an hour flight. And you get to whoop up on the Washington Redskins and get your fifth win of the season. And then in week 17, you close out against the New Orleans Saints, who I said were going to sweep you. And the New Orleans Saints give you your 5-11 record that I think that you're going to finish with. So now we move along from the Carolina Panthers and we go to the Atlanta Falcons. In weeks number 1, 2, and 3, you get the Seahawks, Cowboys, and Bears. So you open up your season in Atlanta against the Seattle Seahawks. I think that that's a loss. Russell Wilson is just way too good. You guys lose that game. Week number 2, I believe, is the Dallas Cowboys home opener. And they play, and you guys play, in Jerry World in Dallas. That's another loss. The Cowboys are overall too good of a team not to beat you guys. And yes, that is very painful for me to say. Week number three, you play the bad team in the Chicago Bears. But I think that their defense is better than your offense. And I say that the Bears win that game. Week number four, it doesn't get any easier. And you play the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field. That's another loss for you guys. And I have you guys going 0-4 to start the season. But week number 5, you play the Carolina Panthers. And as I said in the last little part, I think you guys are going to split. So you get your first win of the season, week number 5, against the Carolina Panthers in Atlanta. Week number 6, it's back to losing. You play Minnesota in Minnesota. That's a loss. The Vikings take that game. Week number 7, you play 
the Detroit Lions. I don't have very much faith in the Falcons. I don't have very much faith in the Lions. The Lions probably should win this game, and I think that they will. In week number eight, you guys play at Carolina. As I said before, I thought you guys were going to split, so you guys lose in Carolina to the Panthers. Please don't mind me. I'm glancing down. I have my wins and losses in front of me, so if it looks like I'm looking at the ground, that's not what I'm looking at. In week number nine, I have you guys beating the Denver Broncos solely because you're home. I don't know how much of a difference this game is going to make to you guys, and I know that the Broncos are going to be a bad team too. So this is probably a game that you should lose and start getting ready for the draft, but you guys won't. And I have you guys winning this game in week nine. Week number 10, you have a bye, only to come off the bye and travel to New Orleans and get your asses whooped by the New Orleans Saints. In week number 12, I have you playing the Las Vegas Raiders, and here's another win for you guys. There aren't going to be very many, but you guys are home, the Raiders are a bad team, you're a bad team, I give the edge to the home team. Week number 13, you play the New Orleans Saints, you're home. Now, I know history has shown us that it doesn't matter what the records are, and you guys can split these games, but I generally believe that the Saints are too good this year, and they're going to be on a mission, and they whoop your ass in week number 13. Week number 14, you travel cross country to play the Los Angeles Chargers. I have this as a win. I think the Chargers are a bad team. I think the weather won't make a difference. I think that you guys will be able to run the ball on them and beat them that way. So you guys win in week number 14 against the Los Angeles Chargers. Weeks 15, 16, and 17, you play the Buccaneers twice and the Kansas City Chiefs. As I predicted in one of my other videos, I said that I thought that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were going to lose one of these games to you. So in week number 15, I had the Tampa Bay Buccaneers losing to you guys because they just take advantage of you and they just glance over to the next team and not focus. So I say in week number 15, you guys get the win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Now in week number 16, you travel to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City and you guys get demolished. Now, Kansas City will probably have something to play for, you know, a bye week, so they may not take it easy on you. If they don't have anything to play for, you're still going to lose, but I don't think it's going to be as bad. And week number 17, you guys get the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will have something to play for. Probably a wild card spot. Unfortunately, I think the Saints are just too good this year, and I see them going 15-1. and one. And if they go 15-1 and one, and the Buccaneers go 13-3, and three, it's a scary thought to think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be a wild card team. But they're going to have to win this game, and they're probably going to have to pummel you guys. So, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning that game, bringing your guys' record to 5-11. So, if you're going to recap my predictions, I have the New Orleans Saints winning the NFC South going 15-1, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers being a wildcard team, crazy as that is, at 13-3, and, and both the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers finishing at 5-11. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know where you think that I went wrong. Let me know where you think I went right. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro.